Good morning, YouTube. Welcome to Dude RV. Hey, I sure appreciate you stopping by and you got here just in time. We're getting ready to hit the road for a week. We're headed up to Wichita, Kansas, and we're going to pay a visit to a state park up there. We're going to visit three parks this week. And today we're on the road headed up into Oklahoma, and we're going to stop for a couple of nights at Lake McMurtry, Oklahoma. As you can see, no white truck. Had the dreaded yellow wrench icon show up, so we won't be taking the truck. I do have little red back on the road. Turns out it was just a loose wire. We have Trudy Thunder, the Super C RV. And Yappy will be following along behind in her car just because she wants to have a, a secondary vehicle. You know, happy wife, happy life. All right, well, let's get on the road to Lake McMurtry in Oklahoma. Oh, that's better. <laughs> let's go. Lake McMurtry West. Hey, y'all like the, the ball cap? This is this is one that I'm, I, I, a sample, if you will. Anyway, give me some feedback. What do you think? Does it need to be a little more bigger? I think it needs to be bigger. That's not why I'm here. We're talking about Lake McMurtry West Campground, Oklahoma. We have arrived. We're actually in site number 10. Let me back up here so you can see it. There's our post. It's kind of kind of an odd odd site. We've got a really decent gravel pad. Uh, shared water. The road here is gravel. So there's there's some good and there's some yeah, maybe not quite so good. The, the maybe not quite so good part is we were looking at the back of the neighbor's site and we're up on this terrace but it's very very level it seems to be pretty sturdy and they do give us steps to go down You can fit a big old RV in here. We didn't we didn't back up all the way because I wanted to be able to get a little red down. Now the, the really good about this about site number 10 at Lake McMurtry West is lake access. We're just a stroll down to the water. We're up north of Oklahoma City. It took us, it was about five hours. Of course, we had to make a couple of pit stops for puppies and people. And then driving through Oklahoma City wasn't nearly as bad as Dallas. But check this out. We are waterside.
can't go wrong with waterside campsites. And I did bring, I, I did, I did bring my inflatable pontoon boat. Even though I don't have the truck, I brought the basics. Uh, I, I really didn't have a little maroon car is not equipped to, to transport the, the the oars and the oar lock set up but I brought the stand up paddle so I can at least get out on the water so we're gonna finish getting settled in have a snack deploy little red and I don't know I might wait till tomorrow to go see the stuff we'll figure it out so stay tuned more to come so Lake McMurtry actually they, they cater to the the tent camper as well I have what four four tent sites here and there's a trail down to the water All right, let's go see some more stuff. You'll be happy to know they have a great boat ramp at Lake McMurtry and a wonderful, wonderful courtesy dock. And it looks like, we're gonna go check that out. I think, I think that's a fishing barge. Let's go find out. Lake McMurtry does indeed have the fishing dock, but it is not, not ADA accessible. There's no way to get a scooter down here. Once you get down here, it looks to be pretty friendly. We had a cold front blow in. It's September. Uh, September 7th, 2021. We had a cold front blow through and the temperatures dropped into the, uh, it's probably upper 80s with a northeast wind. Daddy always said when the wind's out of the east, the fishing will cease. I don't see anybody fishing, so maybe that's true. So you can have two fishing poles. No smoking. No swimming, no diving. Just fishing. All right. Let's go see some more stuff. West Recreation Area, West McMurtry. McMurtry West Recreation Area. That's what I'm trying to say. It has a group pavilion. So if you're wanting to meet up with some folks and have a good old time, they got you covered. Sounds like I'm about to be bombed. So there's a little sign, a little placard here. that talks about Lake McMurtry. And this was de developed, the lake was developed by the Soil Conservation Society, uh, the, the F, the, the, what am I trying to say? It's a multi-purpose dam number 10. The U.S. Department of Agriculture, City of Stillwater, uh, and several other, several other municipal entities constructed this dam, this lake. Doesn't say when, but they constructed it to control erosion, provide municipal water and recreation opportunities. That's pretty boring. Let's go find some interesting stuff. So Lake McMurtry, McMurtry West Recreation Area on Lake McMurtry has two RV camping areas or camping loops. I'm in 
the one that the opposite of where I'm camped. This this is just a flower shaped loop. Most of the, the RV campsites here don't have a sink, you know, they they share water with the exception of this one, number six. That is a nice sight. Not, I don't know that I could get Trudy in there though. Trudy got a big butt. And 15 looks good too. Let's go, let's go see some more stuff. So McMurtry, Lake McMurtry West features the Lake McMurtry headquarters. And I just got some, some valuable information. There's, there's good fishing in this lake. They do sell bait here. Uh, they sell minnows and some castable baits. You do have to have an Oklahoma fishing license to fish Lake McMurtry. This is not like a Texas state park. They have lots of crappie, what he was telling me. The store hours are 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. It's just now four o'clock. I'm tired anyway, so we're gonna go have an adult beverage and see about cooking some supper. Stay tuned, more to come. Beautiful morning here just outside of Stillwater, Oklahoma. It's about 59 degrees. The wind has died off from yesterday. The water's super calm. Oh, it's just such a beautiful morning. You hear the cows. Cows are ready for breakfast. Gonna put the boat together so I can uh, do a little fishing, a little product test video coming up. So you guys hang out right here while I go get what I need to put the boat together. Took me, took me a few, took me a little bit. But bobbers assembled and already launched. Now all we need is some bait and fishing gear. Let's go find that. Time for some breakfast. I've had a 
I've had a viewer request. I've had someone request that I show y'all how I cook breakfast sausage on charcoal. It's not real technical. It's actually a pretty simple process. I've got the fire set up. We have some breakfast sausage. Jimmy Dean, all natural breakfast sausage. And what I like to do is split it so it's easy to get out of the package. I like, I like my sausage patties thick. Yappy and Ziva. Ziva's being a sugar plum fairy dog this morning, just screaming nonstop about wanting to go out. So now we're all sectioned up. Charcoal's hot. There we go. And then I grill it just like I would grill a, a hamburger patty. Besides the cooking, there's just one more step. We're ready to eat. So that's how I cook breakfast sausage on charcoal. Now I'm gonna go eat it. McMurtry West. Lake McMurtry. Has a swim area. On those hot summer days when you need to cool off, wouldn't call it a beach per se. Very peaceful. So I've, I've learned a little bit about McMurtry, the campground here at McMurtry. So I was talking to Jill Vanguard. She's the executive director. So the lake is owned by the city of Stillwater and the campgrounds are operated by a nonprofit Friends of McMurtry. They manage 
uh, the two parks. There's a park on the east and the west side. So they take care of everything. And they have to do it with the revenue that's generated from camping reservations and ax, uh, entry fees and it, everything that, that I have to pay goes into that nonprofit to support the campground. They are currently in the process of creating an, an, an ADA accessible trail and they have further ADA improvements. They have more that they want to do. That's what I'm trying to say. They got some more stuff they want to do to take care of those of us that have got got, got some issues. But it takes funds. And they are, they are a nonprofit. And I'll put a link to their website down below. They're tax deductible donations. So you might, if you're looking for a place to get some tax, tax relief, charitable donations are a great place. Good morning. McMurtry, McMurtry West on McMurtry Lake. What a beautiful morning. Just check, check this out. How still that lake is. Man, we're, we're right down from the, from campsite. Get the camera back over here where it's not going to fall over. Anyway. McMurtry West Campground, McMurtry Lake, Oklahoma. We're done here. Thought I'd give you a brief recap. I like this little park. I like it a lot. Now, now granted, the campsites, they hurt your feet when you're walking around in your flip-flops because of the gravel. Uh, they're all level, but the, the, the gravel is, it's a rough pad and the gravel roads and the camping loops are, are kind of rough but those are the only real detractors that i can i can point out here this is a beautiful place if you're driving north or south on 35 and you need a good a good waypoint stop a good place to spend a night or two to reset the cycle man this is this is this is one you got to see. It's also a great destination. If you like, if you enjoy fishing, well, I proved, thanks to the little fish finder, that there are crappie in this lake. And according to, according to a couple of other people, there are ample amounts of other species as well. There's. A, there are a lot of hiking trails, hike and bike trails. So if you have a mountain bike or you just like to do the biped locomotion, this place is for you. They are in in the process of constructing or constructing is not the right word, improving uh, a section of the hiking trail to make it ADA compliant. She didn't give me a, a, a timeline on when that would be finished. It will be done. Uh, I think within the year. They also have plans to improve the access to the fishing dock and make it ADA compliant. But that is dependent upon charitable donations. That pretty well sums it up. Nice park, beautiful lake. Really gotta come check this one out. Uh, we've enjoyed our two nights here and I will definitely keep this one in mind. If, for, for a waypoint stop and heck, we might even come back and spend a week or two here. All right, well that brings us to the end of our little video. I sure appreciate you stopping by, and joining me on my in my visit to McMurtry West. If this is your first visit to Dude RV, I'd appreciate it if you'd consider clicking on that subscribe button if you have not already. And if this was a valuable, inter if this was fun and entertaining for you, I'd really appreciate you clicking on that thumbs up, sharing me on your social media. That really helps with the, the YouTube algorithm. And for those of you who have been following along, man, I sure appreciate it. That's why, I, that's why I'm doing what I'm doing. It's because of you. Thank you so much for that opportunity. And for my patrons, you rock. 
all right, y'all come back now, you hear?